Hello guys, so welcome back to another video. Now we have a new problem. We have a new trouble. And this one here. Okay, this is on Bay 54. And the problem it is on the third high. Yeah, on a TR TR82. So we don't have lashing bridge onto that one. We need to put scaffolding in order to access that unit. So what is the alarm of this unit? So the alarm of this unit is that it has giving compressor temperature too high. All right, so it can only get minus 15. The set point is minus 25. Supply can only get 115.7 and minus 13.3 so we need to find out what is the problem onto the unit so find out what is wrong with that unit and come and join me in this new learning So before we can proceed to the troubleshooting, we need to do the staging and in order to do that, the crew needs to remove these lashing bars. These lashing bars are the ones who secured the containers on the vessel. Now the crew is putting the staging, we need to fix that creeper on top, it's giving compressor alarm and it's on the third high. I am very happy that I am having a good team in this vessel, which is a main key to lighten your job on board. Right now they are making the scaffoldings there so that's what we are going to climb up later to fix that unit please ensure that you are working in a safe way and do the permit to work so while waiting for the crew to finish the scaffolding i went to the other unit which requires a software upgrade this new upgrade will prolong the economy mode of the unit this is to reduce the running time of the compressor if the temperature is still in range. I have a separate video on to this one, the software upgrade of a carrier unit and just check the link on the description down below. After that, I went to a Daikin unit which is giving a low suction pressure. So I just cleaned the EEV and the unit went okay. I also have a separate vlog onto this EEV cleaning. So just check the link down below. So right now I'm preparing because I need to climb up in there and see what is the problem on that refrigerated container. Let's go to that bay and check that reefer. I think the staging is already okay and let's hope that we can fix the unit. Again, safety is our number one priority as the height of this one is like a three-story building. And the ship is running during this troubleshooting. So the first thing I did is to check the discharge temperature and pressure. So the discharge pressure is around 16.1 bar and the high pressure temperature is around 130 to 145 degrees Celsius. 
this is too high that's why the unit stops and went out of range so if you are having this situation what would be the first thing that you are going to do you may pause the video first and analyze the situation having a high pressure and high temperature on the discharge side so what we have found right here is that doesn't have much freon so the compressor the temperature of the compressor goes high and that's why we are having this alarm it goes around 130 to 150 so what i'm going to do is i will charge refrigerant and then let's see let's see if it can pull down the discharge side of the compressor and then we will see if we can reset the alarm and let's try to run it after so checking the side glass i am having a low level of freon so we're having a 16.1 bar pressure onto the discharge side but we're having a low level freon on the side glass so the first thing i did is to connect a manifold and compare the local manifold gauge and to our controller gauge this is to ensure that we're having really around 16.1 bar pressure because we cannot remove the chances of having a controller problem of giving a wrong information regarding our discharge pressure so as soon as i connected the discharge side of the manifold and check the gauge i'm really having around 265 psi or around even 17 to 18 bar pressure so having a high discharge pressure and a low freon level onto the side glass it only means that we have air on the system so i have decided to empty the line and remove all the freon onto the system and purge everything out and then charge a new fresh up freon to ensure that there is no moisture or air in the system we also used a vacuum pump in doing this to ensure that we will suck everything out on the system unfortunately i was not able to record everything in this video as it is really imperative to focus on to the safety while doing this job and so i just narrate it in this way so the working pressure that it requires on this unit is around 15 to 16 bar pressure and as you can see after charging freon there is now a formation of ice onto the suction side of the compressor and then i let the ball to float onto the side glass i will do a separate vlog onto the how to vacuum the refrigeration system and how to do the proper charging of refrigerant in order for you to have a reference in the future so we will let the unit to run for around 30 minutes and then see what would be the reaction of the unit with regards to a new refrigerant on the system for those who are working into the refer containers please ensure to return the cups of the service valves as this will save the good condition of our service valves so after running the unit for around 30 minutes the alarm did not appear anymore and the supply temperature is around minus 28 degrees celsius and the return temperature is around 21 minus 21.1 degrees celsius this only means that the system is now in good condition and started pulling down so this is your lucky jake and see you on my next video